We're going to begin making this beautiful symmetrical butterfly. Warm colors or cool colors, your choice. So step number one, I want you to take a piece of paper and I want you to fold it in half. And on the fold line, I want you to go ahead and start drawing half of the insect of your butterfly. So you'll notice here's half of the head, here's half of the body, half of the thorax, the parts of the butterfly. And after you've drawn half of the butterfly, follow the direction sheet on the board. Starting out with a diagonal line upward, now we'll go ahead and take our pencil and draw a horizontal line from the middle of the body diagonally out. I'm going to outline mine in black so you can see it a little bit better. You don't have to outline it in black. I just want to make sure that you can see these steps. Once you've done these two lines, go ahead and take those two lines and connect it with a curved line. So again, you're just drawing this in pencil. Here's my nice curved line. That's the upper wing. The bottom of the body, I'm going to go and draw a diagonal line downward. And after I've drawn this, I'm going to go ahead and make another curve line from the middle of the paper down to the bottom. Now I have my upper wing and lower wing of my butterfly. Let's go ahead and start making a parallel. A parallel line are, is two lines that never intersect. My parallel line will match my curved line at the top. It'll match my curved line at the bottom. It's almost like a road. The two white lines of a road that never meet, that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to go ahead and start having some fun by decorating my um, wings of my butterfly, adding an antenna. It almost makes me think of drawing a tree with some branches for the inside lines of my butterfly. There's the stem or the tree trunk. There's a few branches. Okay, keep it simple, keep it light. Now we'll go ahead and take my paint. For the fun part, we're going to do some transferring with paint. Using your brush, I want you to take it and start to paint the body of the insect. As you paint the body of the insect, keep it um, on that paper and just start there. Don't paint the whole thing, just begin by painting the body of the insect. As you fold it, increase that paint over while it's still wet, it'll transfer to the other side. So cool! If yours has a little bit of white, you can either paint it or rub it with your hand to try to get that white spot to fill in. I kind of like a little bit of white. I like that it's showing part of a print. So I'm going to leave mine the way it is. Again, I want you to focus and notice how I'm not painting the whole butterfly right now. I'm just going to take a section of it, fold it over to get those lines to transfer to their side. If I wait too long, the paint is going to dry out and it will not transfer to the other side. Now I'll go ahead and do the outside line of my bottom um, of the wings for my butterfly. Rubbing that black to go to the other side. You might notice that some of my lines in black are getting thicker because I'm pressing that paint together. And so when I did my decorations, I only did every other one because as I smash it together, some of the black lines are getting thicker. You might notice that too. I kind of like that for this project. I think it looks pretty cool. It's pretty cool that it's symmetrical, and it's also awesome that I'm getting them to go over to the other side and just having a perfectly symmetrical project. Make sure you have your name put on your, pa on your paper and also your class code. Have fun today, put it in the drying rack, and have some fun. Bye.